Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis at CES 2013 with some cool Windows 8 Ultrabooks from Toshiba. Powered by Ford. Go further. All right, I told you guys that uh, Windows 8 machines would be a big deal here at CES, and I was right. Toshiba has uh, offered up a couple of new ones. This is the Satellite U8845W, and it is a Windows 8 machine. This is the 16.9 resolution. You can see immediately the difference. It is not touchscreen, unfortunately, but next year they expect to have a lot more touchscreen throughout their models. Um, so 16.9 with Windows 8. If you guys watched our Windows 8 uh, episode, you know that you have a lot more screen real estate with all the tiles. So 30% more. I'd say that's a really nice option. And uh, the big touch pads down here are gonna offer you a little bit more capability to, to kind of maneuver around. Now, these also have Harman Kardon process, oh, speakers, sorry. I'm going processor speakers in my mind. It's all one and the same, right? No, Harman Kardon speakers, they supposedly sound great. I can't really tell in this environment. I'm gonna get one in for review. It's got a Core i7 processor, and uh, you can get a hybrid HDD and SSD or just full-on SSD. All right, I've got one more for you back here that I'm going to show you right after we thank our sponsors. Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. And our second model of the day from Toshiba is the Satellite U925T. Now, this is an Ultrabook that converts into a tablet, but it's a little different than the others. It doesn't pop out. I'm going to show you what it does here. I kind of need both hands, so I'm going to squat down. You pull it back and you push. So then you have a tablet. Give it, yes, it is a little heavier um, when, it, when it's pushed like that into a tablet form. But what I like about it is that because it goes all the way down, when you're in laptop mode, you actually can do it on any level you want, which for those of you who like that flexibility, that's going to be perfect for you. Uh, this is not, this is touchscreen. That one was not touchscreen. This is touchscreen. All right. Uh, this is actually running 1149 and it's running the uh, Core i5 processor. Thank you guys so much for joining me here at CES. You can find all of our coverage at geeky.tv CES 2013 or head on over to youtube.com slash and give us a thumbs up too if you got them. Bye.